diabetes is a condition where the sugar level in the blood is raised. Now, we all have sugar in our blood and this is very tightly controlled by insulin and there are other ways in which the sugar levels are kept under tight control. Now, diabetes happens when the control mechanisms are defective and the high sugar is quite poisonous to the internal organs particularly the blood vessels in our body and in the initial period the complications start to build up but it is not felt by the patient for a, for a long time it may be anything up to 10 years before complications from damage to the small blood vessels especially the capillaries uh, start to show up so we could call this a silent killer uh, for that reason the smallest of blood vessels dam are damaged particularly in the back layer of the eyes and in the kidneys and also those blood vessels supplying the nerves so we have a problem with vision kidney damage and nerve damage which will show itself up in the form of a leak of protein and gradual accumulation of toxic uh, products uh, because of the kidney failure and then at that point you'll start to feel ill and most of the time when you see the doctor it is fairly late in the day and the time where you could actually prevent the development of these complications was when you were feeling well but living with high blood sugars so the important message is uh, to screen people are screened to detect high blood sugars and then manage to keep the blood sugars under strict control if you are to avoid running into serious problems 10, 15, 20 years later. Uh, you must also remember that high blood sugars are associated with high blood pressure, high cholesterol and excess weight, lack of exercise, this entire package and also you must not forget cigarette smoking. All these things contribute to heart attacks and strokes uh, at a young age. And, uh, Sugar control, for that reason, is extremely important along with stopping cigarette smoking, controlling blood sugars and cholesterol, keeping your weight under control. Uh, so my uh, suggestion is while sugar control is important, all the other problems that I mentioned also must be carefully controlled if we are to live healthy, uh, a healthy life for a long period. The high blood sugar, as I said, uh, causes harm to the inner lining of blood vessels. Now, the smallest of the blood vessels are known as capillaries, and the capillary damage results in leakage of protein into the urinary system. So one of the earliest signs of kidney damage with diabetes is protein in your urine which can be detected long before the blood tests show an abnormality. Only when 60% or so of your kidneys are damaged, that blood test starts to show the evidence of kidney uh, inadequacy. Now, diabetes, over a long period, the high sugars while its affection on the tiny blood vessels uh, damage the nerves. Now, the nerves to our feet perform some very important functions. It's normal nerve function that allows us to perceive pain, heat, all these very important stimuli uh, which helps us protect our uh, skin and the tissues. 
the nerves also are very important in uh, normal muscle and joint function. Any defect in the nerve function will give rise to abnormal muscle and joint function uh, which results in deformities. Additionally, our skin sweating also is regulated by nerve function. So, to summarize, when the nerves are affected, we will not be able to protect ourselves from pain caused by punctures, cuts or heat burns. The deformities cause pressure points uh, which are uh, manifested by what we call callosities, thickening, thickening of the skin. All these result in very easy wounding of our feet, easy wounding. Now, because of a lack of sensation, when people wound themselves, they don't realize it and they do not seek uh, proper medical care and delays are very common. High blood sugars also damage the circulation and poor circulation doesn't help the healing of wounds. Wounds get easily infected. So, easy wounding, faulty healing results in serious problems. Amputation of toes and amputation of the leg, the entire leg around the knee level. If, if you look at the worldwide figures, it is estimated that every 17 seconds or so, a limb is lost because of diabetes somewhere in this world. So, it's a very important cause of limb amputation and you know that once a person has had an amputation, the quality of life, uh, lifespan, all these things become seriously impaired. The, the important thing about the diabetic foot is that with proper education and complying with advice, you can prevent prevent injuries. Um, once you have lost sensation, you need to protect your feet by wearing appropriate uh, shoes, footwear at all times. And also checking out your feet between the toes for any tiny uh, injuries because all wounds start very small and it is just neglect which results in them reaching a large size uh, and all the complications from that. Uh, if there is an injury and if you have detected it early, you need to see. Wash it clean and then see your doctor because infection could easily uh, take a grip on this tissues and gives rise to pus formation, tissue death and uh, all this, all of this can be quite uh, invisible, hidden under the skin uh, for quite some time.